That's right. The court is still in session, and it has been a very emotional day. Several teens who were there that day describing what they can remember. Now, Townsend was not showing very much emotion, sort of slumped in his seat, but he was alert. I've been looking forward to looking him in the eye. Teenage survivors of a tragedy that reached across the nation. On Friday, taking the stand in front of a Cleveland County judge facing Max Townsend for the first time. The runners described watching the truck hit their teammates. Among the haunting images, pulling Euridia Martinez out of a pond, watching Rachel Freeman pulled under a truck, and hearing some of Colby Crumb's last words when he said, go help the others. It's something I can't escape. It's something that just always follows me now. White says he remembers very little from the crash, only the sound of a truck revving, a sound that scares him every time he's near a road. He says Townsend wouldn't meet his gaze in the courtroom. Just the fact that he has the nerve to hit me with the truck but not look me in the eye says a lot about him. A witness who ran up to Townsend said the defendant didn't seem to know he ran over kids and that he was sobbing about the recent loss of his son. Rachel Freeman's father says he doesn't want to discuss the defense's strategy, focused on the truth and justice for his daughter. We're just, you know, praying for the truth to come out and we think that will, that will be sufficient. Right now, investigators are testifying, but the judge says he will decide at some point today whether this case will go to trial. Reporting live in Cleveland County, Cassandra Sweetman, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you.